If I can just mention that the size of the supplement industry in America last year was $43 billion just in the United States, $43 billion spent on supplements. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. What's interesting is the, some of the research has been done is the people that need them most don't take them. The people that need them the least are the ones that are most likely to take supplements. So there's a lot of money beans probably could be spent in different places. I will tell you too that this Deshay Act I was talking about really back in 1994 was back and forth between the industry and government. And basically, I think consumers won. I would say that because they got freedom to choose what they want, but at the at the same time, it became very unregulated and there's some potential for some problems. One of the compromises that happened, people watching right now, if you've got any supplement in your house, you will see in very small print, I'm going to read it right here. It says, this statement has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. That's government and industry double talk at its best. That's exactly why you're taking this, is to cure, diagnose, treat, or prevent a disease. That's why you're taking this. And so that was a compromise from the supplement industry to the government to get the Deshay Act passed back in 1994. But I want you to realize that that's awfully small print and hardly anybody reads it. It's a good point. You know, there was another point that you already brought up that I wanted to emphasize, and that is I've spent a good bit of time going back because of the popularity, going back and looking at the true science behind a lot of supplements. As a result of that, I've actually started taking a lot more supplements than I ever took because there is some good evidence behind a lot of different supplements. Another point that you brought up, which I think is very interesting. People will say this all the time on the channel. I hate statins. Statins are going to kill me. I'm going to take something natural like red rice yeast. And so my response to them is, wait a minute, think about that. And quite often, unfortunately, very unfortunately, I'll find people taking both prescription statins and red rice yeast. So if you go back, the original statin, I think it was Medical or something like that, was made directly from red yeast rice. And we've got much better statins now. Safer, better controlled, easier, gentler. And yet so many people say just the opposite. I want to go safe, easy, because it's natural. So therefore it's safer and easier. No, think about it. Maybe not. You know, hemlock is natural as well. Thank <laughs> you.